They fight for Army Recognition editorial team at IDEX 2017, one of the most important defense exhibitions in the Middle East. Today we will focus to the latest innovation and technology show it at IDEX 2017. At IDEX uh, 2017, we present uh, a new motor system which is based uh, on the uh, application of uh, ATV vehicle, uh, which is used to transport a 82 millimeter uh, motor uh, and uh, its ammunition. Uh, so, uh, using this uh, ATV, we solve uh, several problems. We uh, increase the ammunition which is carried on it, we uh, increase the mobility of the whole system. Uh, and we reduce the crew uh, of the motor, so uh, two people can uh, deploy it or redeploy it uh, in uh, less than a minute. The second uh, of our product is a 30 millimeter unmanned turret, which has been recently developed by our company. It is very light, it weighs uh, just above one ton, uh, it carries uh, 300 rounds of uh, ammunition uh, for a uh, 30 millimeter gun and uh, a thousand ammunition for the machine gun. It can be used for installation of, uh, on new uh, armored vehicles as well as for upgrade of uh, the existing vehicles. At IDEX 2017, there is a large presence of the Chinese defense industry, including Norenko and Polytechnology. One of the highlights of the show is the VT-4, a main battle tank produced and designed in China. This is the latest generation of main battle tank. It has a crew of three, with the driver at the front of the hull, and two men in the turret. The tank is fitted with an automatic loading system. The general layout of this main battle tank is standard with the driver at the front of the hull, the crew in the middle in the turret including commander and gunner and the engine compartment at the rear. The front of the hull is protected with a passive armor which provides protection against anti-tank guided missile. On each side at the front of the turret there is passive armor. The main armament of the VT-4 consists of one 125mm main gun and one remotely controlled weapon station armed with a 12.7mm machine gun. The VT-4 can fire a full range of ammunition including HE, EAT and guided missile. The VT-4 is also fitted with a panoramic sight for the gunner and the commander for its self-protection the VT-4 is also equipped with the laser range fighter detection system. On each side at the rear of the turret, there is six smoke grenade discharger. Another interesting product at the Norenko booth is the 155mm self-propellant howitzer PLZ-52. This howitzer is able to fire standard ammunition and also GPS munition, guided munition. One of the new products launched by the Chinese defense industry at the Norenko booth is a new lightweight high mobility MLRS multiple launch rocket system. This vehicle is able two types of ammunition, 122 mm and 220 mm unguided and guided rockets.
So this system is actually our best seller within the UAE land forces. All the uh, armored vehicles using smoke launchers have been refurbished and equipped with this launcher. And actually all the new programs coming out are equipped with this launcher. So this launcher is a very advanced one making our core business is pyrotechnics. So we have a specific smoke which makes the vehicle become invisible against visible bandwidth, infrared, laser and all type of uh, targeting. Uh, this system actually uh, is also displayed on many vehicles in IDEX. We can find it on all the NIMR vehicles, IGG vehicles with the AGRAM. You can go to straight. Most of the vehicles used in the UAE are displayed with this system. more than uh, 114 products in IDEX 2017 and uh, 35 of them are new products. We have uh, the outside here, the vehicles and the small uh, arms inside and we have a marina uh, and uh, boats in the uh, out, outdoor. Okay, Amir, uh, armored personnel carrier, it is a um, Soviet Union product, Berdiam, it's got out of the surface before uh, more than 30 years in the Sudanese army and we make uh, uh, development and uh, upgrading for it and now we use it again by the Sudanese army. We make uh, upgrading for the engine, transmission and for the uh, guns. The Taka 2, it is a 4x4 truck, it's equipped with uh, multi-barrel 122 rocket launcher. It's maximum range up to 20 kilometers. For the Taka 2, this was the old system for firing of the rocket. And in MIC, we developed the new electronic system for firing by touch screen. The Hatim 4 is the armor personnel carriers. It's carrying up to maximum uh, 12 persons. It's equipped with uh, 12.7 uh, anti-aircraft gun with um, anti-tank guided missiles. Its maximum range of the missile is 4 kilometers. The new product for IDES 2017 is the Sarsar 2. This is armored personnel carriers. It's carry up to 10 persons it's, and equipped with 12.7 heavy machine gun. The level of protection is B6. The new product, Sarsar 2, it is armored personnel carriers. It's arming, uh, it's arming is uh, B6. It is equipped with 12.7 heavy machine gun anti-aircraft. It's, it's used to carry 10 persons inside. Sarsar 2 is built on Toyota Land Cruiser chassis. Khalifa 2 is a self propelled 122 millimeters Hauser. D30, it's a maximum range up to 17 kilometers. And the time for deployment is only 1.3 minutes. Khalifa 2 is also an ammunition carrier. It carries its uh, rounds uh, inside. It carries up to 50 rounds. Khalifa 2 is built on a Russian truck, Ural. It's assembled in Sudan. This new system that we're unveiling here at, uh, at the trade show is our remote fire option. And basically what it enables the uh, gunner to do is to either operate the turret in a traditional manner with the gunner um, above, uh, operating it, uh, turning it with his, with his, uh, his thumb or his body, uh, or giving him the option to get down inside the vehicle, uh, activate a few switches, and operate inside and control the entire turret, effectively turning it into a remote weapon station. Um, 
This is uh, not a Crow system. Uh, the system doesn't have an expensive ballistic computer or laser rangefinder. Uh, it is a cost-effective option to give the gunner the ability to stay protected and return uh, suppressive fire uh, and, and be protected. So this is the uh, remote operation and in the real version we would have the uh, remote firing solenoid uh, that he can activate here. We can equip the system with uh, various camera options. Uh, we've got a camera option here in the front that uh, fuses together an optical image and a thermal image and we've got a traditional uh, day camera on the top. So this is one example of uh, the turret that we fielded. This is our CS5200 lightweight series turret. Um, it's on the, uh, the TPS Armoring Black Mamba vehicle. We also have our remote firing option um, equipped on this. And this again allows the gunner to either operate the turret um, above in a traditional uh, manner or if the situation dictates, uh, such as a sniper high threat environment, uh, the gunner can close the hatch, get inside the vehicle, and operate the turret as if it was a remote weapon station. So this is another example of uh, turret's uh, solutions that we can provide. This is our CS5200 in the uh, fixed A-frame configuration on the uh, Mac Defense Lakota. In the vehicle you have to your front is the Lakota, a 6x6 vehicle that has multiple variants. It uh, can be a troop carrier, command and control, a mortar option, an ambulance, and, an ev and there's even an amphibious option as well. Uh, we're actively uh, marketing this product uh, through customers worldwide. 370 horsepower engine, we have uh, a CAT7 engine and Allison transmission in this particular model. Uh, we're part of the Volvo group, so we provide the power of the group. We provide a, a worldwide network of support uh, and a history of strong performance. Uh, we, we are able to tailor the armament based on the customer requirements according to the ag levels. Um, in terms of troop carrying, we can do a, a true troop carrier vehicle and have 10 in the back plus 2, or, and then we would change the number based on the particular variant.